Variation in anatomy, whether it's within some populations or just the population of a whole, is a challenge because you can't make one size fit all. So as we look at those variations, we're able to come up with new design solutions and sizes to make sure the surgeon has a full range of options uh, to reconstruct the patient's joint to the best he can do it. In the past, um, a lot of development efforts have utilized 2D imaging, 2D x-rays, things of that sort, and it really does not enable us to really understand in three dimensions how our devices are intended to perform. And in fact, we've seen in several studies, um, several internal studies, that by restricting ourselves to two-dimensional information, we're really missing some key aspects of the performance of the devices and some key design features. CTE-based population analysis, I think, is becoming uh, very common in the industry. I think it's a very powerful tool. Um, it's a way to get fully 3D information about the whole population of patients that we're trying to serve to ensure that our designs are robust across that population. We use Adams technology at DJO. Um, it's part of the design concept development as well as design validation and in marketing too to show the examples of how the implants fit. Uh, the cost benefits to having the Adams technology um, are several. The first uh, thing that we've noticed at DJO is if you do the design um, in a suboptimal manner then you will have a lot of cost that you didn't need to spend. Um, so not having to, um, uh, not having to uh, build inventory for a design that's suboptimal is one savings. Uh, another savings is time because we can so quickly um, optimize our designs to patient anatomy without having to build prototypes or having to do cadaver labs. We're just at the beginning. So by using population-based analysis, by using tools like uh, that can be provided with CT imaging, um, I, th I think we're going to grow by leaps and bounds. And what this is going to enable us to do is to advance beyond a lot of the basic bench top testing that has characterized, I think, the industry in the past 20 or 30 years, and really move to more robust analyses that predict uh, implant performance across the wide variety of patients that we will see. Materializes products uh, definitely help us creating a, a more healthy patient population. So obviously when patients come in, they have disease, usually osteoarthritis, and by optimizing our implants using the Adams Technologies, uh, we're able to get those patients up and get them active again so they can enjoy all the functions that they uh, used to do before the arthritis um, limited their abilities.